Yo guys, I'm Lucid and I'm an admin for MK Elite and I'm also his official video editor. I'll be showing y'all how to get started modding on a set of Corsa and how to set up the MK Elite high horsepower server and the MK Elite dense traffic server. Let's get started. So starting us off, you will need to join the MK Elite Discord server. The link is in the description. Then you are going to want to locate the requirements channel and click the first link and that will take you to the download for content manager which is a the first main required thing and it will be how you're launching a set of Corsa from now on so clicking the first link in rec the requirements channel it will take us to the content manager download page once you are here you're gonna want to scroll down till you see the green download directly thing and you're going to want to click that for you guys once it downloads it is not going to go to your desktop like me like for me it'll be right here but for you guys it will probably be in your downloads folder i just have a different download location set up so once it is finished downloading you're going to want to extract it just right click and click extract all once it is done extracting double click to open the new folder that has been created and double click the content manager executable file and now once you're in here make sure this is set to the your correct installation of your set of course and folder for me program files x86 steam steam apps common a set of Corsa. that is the most common location unless you chose one of your other drives perhaps it would be d for me if i did chose my other drive it would probably be in just a steam like a steam games folder or whatever it's called just anything to do with steam check in there and it's probably in there once you have selected the correct folder make sure this is all correct your steam id for online then you can choose your online name this is what you'll display as in the server i'd recommend doing your same discord name so we know who you are in the discord and in the server so after you set your name you're going to want to scroll down to here and just install all these that you can if there was an update in the like your windows notifications go into here and click the new version for me it's just not working so we're not gonna be able to install this right away you can install this later if you see that you need it but I would recommend just all the ones that you can just click install on then once you're done you can click OK and this is content manager right you do not need the full version of content manager it does give you some cool benefits but you're n you don't need it for the mk elite servers so one more thing i forgot to say is make sure you go into content manager and go up to settings and then content manager and then general yep got it and then make sure you check for updates once you are done and make sure you're on the most recent version this is the version that works so and once yeah. you have your content manager s fully set up go to settings custom shaders patch and there's going to be a big green install button you want to click that it's going to look just like this once it's done you're going to want to click the most recent version that's up here. It's m normally going to be the best one. Right now, 1.78 and 1.77 seem to be working the best for the MK Elite servers. I'd recommend doing 1.78 right now, though. We haven't come across any errors just yet. But if you do end up coming across some bugs that you might think could be fixed with that then go back to 1.77 we've never had an issue with that and it's been out for a little while if you do get an error like this it should be, be able to get fixed by just doing reinstall patch so 
So once you do click the reinstall thing on those errors, just tab out of the thing like this and click like, you know, whatever's happening, and go back and it should be gone. Then once you do that, we're going to want to go back to the Discord and click the second link down here and that will take you to the sole download page. Once you are here, it's gonna you're gonna need to make an account in order to download it. You click register, but it's gonna make it look like you have to pay. You don't. If you scroll all the way down here, they try to hide it from you and click this here word right here. And then you're able to make an account for free and you can download. Once you log in, you can click the link in Discord again, this link, and it'll open up the page again, and it should automatically sign you in if you did sign in before. And then you can click the big red download button, and that will download Soul. Now once Soul is done downloading, you can minimize your browser and go to most likely your downloads folder. Once again, I have mine set to my desktop, so it is on my desktop. But you can get to it from your downloads folder, most likely. But here, you will need to download either WinRAR or 7-Zip. And so, you can go to the link that's in the description and go to the WinRAR or 7-Zip page. I prefer WinRAR, though, and so I will go to that. I will be demonstrating WinRAR on how to install that. And so once you're at the WinRAR page, just do the download WinRAR thing. After a month, I believe, it'll say like, oh, blah, 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 you gotta pay for it. But then on the little window that pops up when you try to use WinRAR and it says you have to pay for it, you can just exit out of the little pay window and continue using it. So you can go ahead and click the download WinRAR button and then click it again. Then it will download itself. And you can go to your either your downloads or your desktop, wherever you have it to set to go. Double click it. Say yes. Install. Then just click all of these. So I can open up all of them. You can do add run or to desktop, add one or start menu if you want it. But it will always be in your right click menu if you right click on a file like that. So then just click OK. And then done. And just like that, it's installed. And it will open a window like this. You can just exit out of it. And once you're done with the installing file, you can delete it. So once Soul is downloaded, just open it with... You may need to just right-click it and then do open with WinRAR. Or it might just already have the little icon and you can just double-click it and open it. Either way works. And then, so open it up to here once you see this then you're going to want to drag these into your a set of course of root folder. And to locate your root folder, go into Steam and then Library and then right click on a set of Corsa, go to Manage and then Browse Local Files. And then select all these and drag them into the open space that's on the right and it'll transfer into your game folder. Once it's done transferring and you see like some of these files highlighted, that's when you know it's done transferring uh, and there's like no transferring window. You can close Steam, you can close your set of course or root folder, then open up Content Manager or just go back into it if you still have it open, doesn't matter. Go to Weather Effects in Custom Shaders Patch inside of Settings, the Controller Script on the Soul 2.2, and the Weather Script on Soul. Then you have Soul completely set up and ready to go. Except if you want to use the mo more of the Soul abilities, you can come into video settings under a set of course inside of settings and put the filter on one of the Soul ones. I really like the Soul extra one. That looks really good for me. And But you can try out all of them. The, the so now you basically are ready to set up any other mods that you're trying to do. Basically, everything is all ready to go now if you want, were to install other mods to join other servers or just other mods to use in, like, single player in general. But now I'm going to show you how to install and set up the MK Elite High Horsepower server and the MK Elite Dense Traffic server. 
So starting off, you're going to want to go back into the MK Elite Discord server and go to the requirements channel and click the link. Click this link and it will take you to the Patreon where you can buy the mods for the server and that will grant you the ability to join the MK Elite server. So just join this and then you will get access to all the mods and so once you do buy the Patreon the $5 per month it is monthly in order to in order to keep access to the server you will always keep access to the mods that were in the pack when you bought it but in order to keep access to the server you need to con continue paying for it monthly but for the June update that is where the well, for me, where the latest um, packs are, it has the traffic server pack and the high horsepower server pack. And so whichever servers you want to download, you click, you download the corresponding packs. For me, June is the most recent. You're just going to want to go to the most recent post that to the corresponding month that it is. Whatever the most recent month is, there's going to be a monthly post for that month and then that'll be the most recent pack for as of now I don't know if both the traffic server pack and the high horsepower server pack are gonna be in the same post I assume they are which otherwise you'll just have to find the separate posts but for now just go to the whatever the most recent post is and download each pack if you whichever want to packs you once you download whichever packs you wanted to download to join whatever servers you wanted to join you're going to want to extract them so for me i'm going to want to join both of the servers so i'm going to extract and download both of the packs so right click it it might take some time depending on how good your hard drive slash ssd is for me it takes a little minute because i am on a hard drive so i'm going to want to extract this one and then i will extract the other one too If you do get an error like this trying to open or extract the either of the packs, just saying Windows cannot open the folder, all you have to do is just exit out of that, right click it, it might also take some time, and then you do open with WinRAR or extract with WinRAR. You can just open both of these, but I'd like to extract them because it transfers faster. So I'll just do extract files. Just extract, I just leave it on the default settings, click OK. Then both of them will extract. It also might take a good amount of time for these to extract or transfer whatever you're doing. It is normal. So once they're both extracted, go ahead and open them up. But they are a little bit different. I don't know if MK Elite will change this or not. But for right now, the traffic packs... You open up the second folder and then it's immediately into the cars and tracks folder. But for the high horsepower one, you open it up and then it's the this, which is another video, just less in depth. And then you go in here and then if you were to open this, then these would be here just like this. But you can install it. it, it you can install it either way. You can either drag this one into your main set of course a folder or you can drag these into the content folder that's in your game just like you have to do with these since there is no content folder here I'm just going to show y'all how to do it like this so you just get your root folder open by going to steam library right click manage browse local files and you can close steam and then so I'm going to drag these into content folder and I'm also going to copy the traffic server stuff into the content folder also so now they're both transferring into your game folder and that is what actually installs them so you can do it while they're transferring or even if they're or if they're done 
Just go to online and content manager, then search up MK Elite. If it does say nothing to display, just unclick the missing thing. If you don't have the mods installed like this, then it, w it will show all these errors just like this. But, as you see, the errors are slowly going away because they are transferring in right now. My mods aren't done transferring yet, but I would recommend favoriting these so you don't have to just search them up over and over again. And what I also like to do, also you don't have to, is make a list and call it MK Elite. And so oh, I have to replace some of the files from the traffic pack. And then anyways, back to this. So you just, you can call it, well, technically you can call it whatever you want, but then I will put the... MK Elite servers in the MK Elite tab so they're all organized. So once it's all done transferring in, you can close all the extra windows and then you're good to go into the MK Elite server. But if you if you navigate back to Discord and go to common issues fix and if you get either of these errors once you load in, this one is the most common one. It basically means that you don't own the ultimate edition slash the all the DLCs for a set of Corsa and you can just do this or you can buy all the DLCs if you want but I'd recommend reading all this because it tells you what's wrong with it and why it's not a very good fix but it does get you playing and then this one just make sure, to avoid this, just make sure everything's done transferring when you do it. And if you do, get this errors. Or if you're still missing some cars, even after it's done transferring, just keep retransferring the cars that are missing. And it should fix it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for joining the MK Elite servers. Once you do have everything transferred in, should be no errors up here, no missing cars or anything. Then you can, so for the two high horsepower servers, you can pick your car from here, click join. If you do want to switch your car, you do have to leave and then pick your car from here again. Once you are in game, you can go open the chat thing. I go in more in depth into this in the Discord, and you can actually change the color of some cars. Not all cars support it. Also, for the long straight road, there's also I also go more in depth into that and how to get to there, and how to teleport to it in the Discord. But that's basically a three lane road that's super long and straight so if you want to race you can also do that on the traffic server so yeah that's the end of the tutorial hope you guys have fun in the mk elite servers and have a great day